Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Centaur. Um, we're back in our Project Ozone world. Without Blaze this time. Blaze is gone. No Blaze. Um, last time we left off with Embers, we were, we had just got our Ember Activator set up with our Copper Cell, and we were attempting to go down our Embers quest line, try and get some Dawn Stone, get through the, uh, get to the, um, what's it called? Transmutation, I think it was. To where we can get... Oh, it just reset, didn't it? Uh, oh, we haven't done the pressure refinery. Oh, that's that. Um, and then we did... This. This. We were working on doing the melter. Okay. So. Let's grab the melter. Hold on. My remote control's being funky. Alright, so melter. This one. Alright. We're gonna need... How many for the quest, first off? We're only going to need one for the quest, but I do know for Dawnstone you're going to need two, because Dawnstone's gold and copper, if I remember correctly. Dawnstone ingot. Dawnstone. Yeah, gold and copper equals Dawnstone. One ingot equals two ingots. Hmm. Interesting. Um, and then we can always, eventually, once we get this, it'll be much easier to get Dawnstone. Um, alright, Melter. It's gonna need, what, four Kamenite bricks. Uh, we're gonna need a Kamenite plate. Uh, I plan to end either this video or this stream by going to the Twilight Forest. And once we're in the Twilight Forest, we're probably going to want to get a better pickaxe so we can start vein mining for simple crystals. Yay, Lord Craft. So that goes there. We need furnace. And I just realized we wanted to make two of these, didn't we? So let's make another furnace. We need another Kamenite plate and then more Kamenite bricks. Alright, Kamenite plate. Do do do. Then it's gonna be four iron and some copper. How much iron are we at now? Wait, did we finish off our iron? Yes, we did. Okay, so how much iron did we end off on? We get 675, so that should last us a bit of time. Alright, so let's get copper rolling. Uh, yes, that there. We could, yeah, we can just do it that way. We got big enough smeltery. Um, let's put all this there. This there and this there. Did we get all of these? Yes, we did. And then once we get these melt these melters, then we should be able to get our Dawnstone. So we can get Dawnstone Aspectus by doing a plate stamp with an ember shard. Do we have Ember shards. We do. We have enough. Alright, now. Got 
two melters. All right. Let's do this. Let's do that. And then I'm going to do number receptor right there. Number receptor right there. And number emitters on the top and right here. So shift right click, right click, shift right click, right click. Those should be connected now. All right. And we've got 17,000 embers in there so that should be enough for at least two dons to inspect this so let's do it this way let's grab a mixer centrifuge a centrifuge so we're gonna need a mechanical core so that's a Compass and some lead also. We're probably going to want to do lead next after this copper. How much copper we got? Two more blocks to head through. Um, so we got the compass. Let's go ahead and get the five iron plates we're going to need. This is one thing I like about this pack. No matter what you're doing, there's always something else to do while you're waiting. You can always be doing something. Pretty sure if you could stay awake that long, you could probably beat this pack in one sitting. I wouldn't advise it, but it's probably doable. Alright, copper and two iron, and then a mechanical core. And then the mechanical core is going to take four more iron and a piece, a single piece of lead. So I'm just going to smelt for the lead. Alright. And I forgot our stone hammer. Of course I did. Do, 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 do. What to do? Alright, let's grab the copper we're gonna need. Did we finish our copper? We did it, in fact. Finish our copper. Let's. Maybe we'll do gold next. Why not? Let's do a one of those. We'll grab this, do that, do a one of these, do a one of these, do a one of these, and a one of those. And we get ourselves a mixer centrifuge. She yet again needs ember receptor. We'll put the ember emitter right here. We'll shift, we shift right click, right click. That should be connected. And then we're going to need fluid stuffs. So let's go ahead and get another Kamenite plate. Um, uh, where did we put the fluid stuffs? Here's fluid extractor. Here's fluid pipe. We just need one more fluid extractor. Oh, and we're probably going to need a couple levers. Oh yeah, and we're going to need levers on all these ember emitters. 
So let's do that. Oh no. It's not going to work, is it? Um, sure it is. We just got to figure... Yeah, there we go. That's how we're going to do it. There it is. Let's put a lever there, put a lever there. Let's put levers on all of these. One, two, three. One, two, three. And boom, boom, boom. And a one, and a two, and a three. And it's a wonderful thing to see. What a wonderful thing to see. Alright, now we got basic stuffs going. We can now. Most fluid pipe. Iron? Good. That means we can make more of it easily. Well, relatively. Oh, there's my spin hammer. Alright, let's grab three of you. One for a thing I'm gonna do, wicker. No, I want you there, you there, you there. Alright, let's make another plate. Grab some more redstone. Stamper. Stamper and a stamp base. The stamp base is easy. The stamper is even easier. Alright, let's make them. Oh, wait. We're going to need lever for that extractor. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go ahead and mic set a thing. All right. So the stamper is just gonna need some night bricks. That. That, and we're probably gonna need a lever for this one too. For the stamper at least because i do know the stamper probably will need a lever because i'm pretty sure pretty sure it works like a piston so we go like so we get stamper all right cross that off stamp base okay that just needs a bucket should have a bucket um some caminite bricks like so, and then we just need a couple iron ingots, and a like so, or wait, no, a like so, a like so, and a like so, we'll give this, this, now, this, <laughs> we get the quest for it, we get racks on racks on racks, been getting a good amount of these racks stocked up. Now, we've done the melter, we've done the stamper. How does this work? Okay, so you need to place the stamper two blocks above the stamper base. Give it ember as well as a particulate or stamp. So the stamp base doesn't need ember. The stamper does. 
So let's grab some building blocks. Mm, okay, hold on. I need to get up here somehow. messed up. Parkour, hardcore. Didn't jump a time. Let's play it safe. Run two, boom. Stamper. Put the receptor right there. Shift right click. Let's head down. Let's put an emitter on our copper cell. Uh, here, I guess. And we'll put our lever here. Put our ember dial back here. Um, then we need this. Okay. So let's stamp face that. Let's grab another lever. And then we need what? Plate stamp, two ember shards. Yeah. So let's do that. Do that. Do this. Put those in. No, we only need one right now. Um. Dawnstone Aspectus. That just needs one ingot, so let's grab two ingots, which means one ingot of gold, one ingot of copper. And we need one. Uh, our gold's there. We need one ingot right now, so there we go. Put the gold in here, put the copper in here. That should melt, correct? Am I doing something wrong? Uh, hold on. Let's try doing this. Maybe we have to put these on the sides. Does that help any? Do I need lava or something? What's going on? This should function, correct? Uh, particles all. Um, do we need levers on the melter and shit? I'm 
just try getting a few levers. Levers, levers, levers. Hibber jibbers. That make it function. Maybe on the bottom. Excuse me, but is it oak? Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Is your deal? Give me the Donston fucking asbestos. Oh, probably gonna want us to make a Donston ingot before it wants us to have the asbestos. <sighs> What's this? Okay, let's look at the ancient codex. Why you no know work? Okay, mixer centrifuge. Mechanical pump and then Donston. Hmm. Needs Donston. That's for brewing allergic constructs. Upper charger, beam cannon, metal, metal, or alchemic foci. Wrapping melt, mel birds. Wrapping molten metal about an ember shard. You have devised the aspectus. These. Uh, that's not it. This. Mixer centrifuge. No. Melter. You have devised a way to melt down objects when the melter's bottom block is provided with ember. We're idiots. The bottom block needs to be provided with ember. Are we wasting ember over here? I really hope we're not wasting ember. I don't know about this one. This one we're going to keep up here. Uh, let's actually read about it in here. Uh, mixer centrifuge. Uh, bottom of this is its own tank. Uh, and the top block is given ember. Okay, so the top block is where that needs ember. So, let's put you at the top. You on this side. You on this side. That should be functioning, right? Are we out of embers in our copper cell? Um. I can't see. Uh, let's see. Let's grab another stem pick. Oh, shit. A uh, couple sticks. Eat. Eat. Yep, we're fresh out of ember. Um, let's plug that back up to the stamper base. Lever, lever. Ever heaver. Um, let's put that back there. Um, we need to shove more coal in our thing. Hopefully, get more solid ember. 
Alright, down we go. Geronimo! Bada bee, bada ba, bada bee, ba ba ba. This ember grit. It's used for other shit. And what's this mundane stone used for? Not a damn thing. Oh, it gives him mundane on a tool. Yay, waiting for fucking embers. This is quality content. But once we have the aspectus, that's just... Yay. Alright, we sh This should give us somewhat enough embers to s make sure this works. Howdy ho! That'll start giving it to these other things. Yes, particles. Yay. Particles mean things are happening. Yes, that works. That work. That works. Yes. Um. Oh. Oh, no problem. I took that the wrong way. <laughs> Let's do uh, one of these. There, that there. You need more embers. More embers are in order. But hey, at least we figure this out so we don't need to have a whole blaze convention about embers. Slash spawn. I mean, let's be honest, I've never done embers before, and I wasn't going to care to. This should get embers. Come on, give it some embers. Uh, yeah, you know you want to. Come on. You know you want to. Come on. Work it already. That isn't a recipe. Does it actually have like zero ember? And it just won't get embers? Is that what's going on? Yep, zero embers won't get embers. Hmm. Very, very interesting. And we're out of embers again. Her. Spawn. Do do do. Come on. Sin. Yeah. Ah, you're getting embers. We got an inspectus. 
Give me another one. Huh? There it is. We've got a spectus. Now, let's take that. That's going to gather up some more, so let's turn you off. Because we're going to need a bar stamp and some more dawn stone. So bar stamp. And then we're going to put in more gold and copper. Just for the quest. But hey, we got embers. Very much embers. And that'll... That'll smoky smoke up. Oh, smoky smoke. That'll work. That'll work. And it'll go in here. Boom. Oh, that one's all. Yeah, not happening. Okay, that one's the cinder plinth. That's going to do lead and silver. Okay. Just more embers. More and more embers. Trying to make our way over to the, uh... Twilight Forest. So, with this, we could take the Aspectus off our hands. Alright, so, yada yada. How's the Cinder Plinth thing gonna work? That's not the cinder plinth thing. Uh, is that going to be here? Cinder plinth. Simple machine. Place any item to it and power it with ember and it will burn the item into black ash. And automatically place the ash into a bin placed beneath it as well. Ash has several uses. It can be burned as a poor fuel item. It can be applied to stone to change its color and texture. And other things. Alright, so yay. And I've gotten the copper charger, crystal cell, beam cannon. Um. So yeah. How much of this do we have? 195. Wow, that's a lot of racks. That is a lot of quests. How much quests have we even done? Oh, we get them out. Most of them are em embers and alpha. Um, reservoirs. I don't see the point in right now. The pressure refinery. What's the pressure refinery used for? Uh, refined crystalline. It produces only a modern amount. The per crystal it requires both water and ember, resulting in a 1.5 yield from the activator of a place 3x yield. okay so it's just a bunch of extra steps to get the same thing that we've done okay so let's get ash going so we need a cinder plinth that's going to take three lead and one silver so silver lead lead silver Turn these all into plates. That back. Oh, we need another silver. What time is it? 2.49. I've been streaming for a little while. Okay. And I'm going to have to, hold on, be right back here in a s
and we're back. Had to take a little mini break. Um, sorry about that. YouTubes, people, I know you don't, you probably don't want to wait for your YouTube video. But in that case, just skip. Let's be honest, most people just skip that. Uh, do 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 do. One, two, three. One, two. And a cinder blend. Alright. Then that one's an alchemy pedestal, a bean cannon, and an exchange tablet. Okay. Let's read it on how this works again, because in case you don't know, I have a terrible memory. Okay, so we will probably want a bin from embers. What's that cost? Nothing. Nothing. Put that there. Let's also grab all the gold, put it in here while we're here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's put in a metal. How about ten? That'll be a quick and easy one. Well. What's that? Two sticks and four cobble. It's just a yeet and a yeet and a beat. Alright. And we'll just place this right there. Um I have to do this this way. Um let's grab our clay bucket of water. Let's also grab an uh, ember emitter, that, and the tinker's hammer, and a lever. At that, are coming with me right this second. Where's this need ember? Uh, it appears anywhere is fine with it. So, how about. No. No. Um. I think. It's this one. There. There we go. And then. Put this and this back there. Just burn cobblestone. Let's grab some more embers. Slash spawn. Craft these into those. In fact, we can do it perfect. Boom. All the embers. Will this work? Please tell me this will work. Let's just do this a bit differently. There we go. 
go. That'll work. We've got enough embers in the melter thing stuff. Um, so yeah. We get ash piles. We're gonna need a lot of this. Like, a lot of this. I think we need somewhere between... 80, or a stack and 80. So yeah, let's see if we can get a hopper for that. Try and get as much as possible from the amount of ember we've got. just have that been there um all right so this is what we need we need a alchemy pedestal an exchange tablet oh yay i'm already getting excited for all this dawnstone needed see the thing is with this we can get the glimmer crystal which is needed to go to the twilight forest in the glimmer lamp if you wanted the ultimate singularity Lol. um all right so how much dawnstone are we going to need more than what we got okay and we're going to need some more ember. So what kind of burnable fuel we got? We got wood. Let's use our wood. So while we do all the dawnstone we're going to need. And what other ways are there to make plates? Okay, I can do dawnstone like that. Okay. It's a one-to-one -one plate ratio. There, that'll work. And then let's just... So we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Dawnstone. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I know we have some already, but you know. Oh, things are flying all over the place, because guess what? We're full on ash in there. Huh. Didn't know that was a thing that could happen. Alright, and also, this is going to end this episode of Project Ozone 3. So, if you enjoyed watching, like the video. And if you want to see more, think about subscribing. Could be beneficial. Uh, we will probably get to the Twilight Forest by next time. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Big hope. Hopes are fun. Um, but yeah, we're gonna end this episode here. Well, I would if my remote control wouldn't stop fucking up. And I'll see you next time.